It's one of the most anticipated outdoor events of the year, starting with the parade down 100th Street, followed by music and activities in Centennial Park, a skateboard competition, and fireworks at Serreras Ball Diamonds. There's something for everyone as the community comes together to celebrate our country's 150th birthday. It is one of our most anticipated events of the year when we released the Summer Recreation Guide. We got a lot of feedback on Facebook of people who are just so fired up for this event. So um, that makes us feel pretty good. Obviously, we have, we've set the bar in past years and we want to surpass that and keep this event really exciting and offer the classics, but also offer some new activities and events. We're always trying to shake it up, expand. So um, yeah, I think this year we've done a pretty good job of, of um, keeping the good stuff, but adding a little a bit of extra stuff too. Last year, around 60 community groups participated in the Canada Day Parade. This year, there will be a few new additions. This year, the uh, FSJ Multicultural Society has jumped on board to do some pre-parade entertainment. So we're going to have um, some folks doing some dancing and some performances and some ha being dressed up in costumes. Um, so while people are waiting for the parade to start between 10 and 11 o'clock, they're not just sitting there looking at nothing. There's going to be performances going on. We're going to have mascots there. We're going to have some of those circus performers coming out onto the road at that time. So it's literally all day. It's, it's an absolutely... Um, um, cohesive occasion. Everybody, all sorts of people come. We have multicultural groups, we have locals, we've got a big mix of people that all unite for this one occasion. So um, not only is it great, you know, patriotic for Canada, but as a city and as a community, it is an event that everybody can participate in. The and because it's Canada's 150th celebration, city staff are expecting a big turnout. They would like to remind residents to plan ahead. On Saturday morning, 100th Street from 93rd Avenue to 100th Avenue will be closed. Parking will also be difficult to find around the arena and Centennial Park. They say it's best to come early and be patient with others. We just really want to um, throw it out there to the public to educate yourself. Don't expect to take your normal routes. And if somebody tells you, excuse me, you can't go down this way, that person's likely a volunteer. So be polite and just listen to them. Um, we're really trying to encourage people to carpool, to walk, to park a further distance away. Don't expect to get right in close by the pool because it's not going to happen. Celebrations will end with a fireworks display at Serreras Ball Diamonds starting at 1045. This year, the city plans to extend the show to honor Canada's 150th. You can find more information on all the activities planned on the City of Fort St. John's website. Brendan Miller, CJDC-TV News, Fort St. John.